Hello and welcome to Project Home DIY. I'm Christine, your owner and curator of Project Home DIY. Let's get started with our lantern box. So we're going to unpack, which you've probably already done. You've gotten all your supplies out. And you're probably a little intimidated by all the pieces. But I have a super simple way to walk you through all of it. So we will go through all of that. So let's get unpacked. Starter kits are for the new people. Thank you for joining us. This will be in your first box and you will need the glue gun today and the sanding block and the paintbrush, all of it. So make sure you get that out, get it plugged in, ready to go. And we'll take all of our pieces out. Here's our five inch pieces. And there are 10 inch and 12 inch because we're gonna make two lanterns and all of your extra materials. So you will be using wood glue, tape, screwdriver, and all of the brackets with all of the little mini screws. Oh my gosh, right? They're tiny, but good thing there's a screwdriver with it. Help us out in the end. So I'm gonna set those to the side because that's our very last finishing touch. We have a lot to do before we can get to that. Then we have our base lantern pieces and we're ready to go. <clears throat> so very first thing to start, you'll need your wood glue, you'll need your 12 inch pieces, 10 inch pieces, and you will need eight of the five inch pieces. This is what we're gonna start with, okay? So this very first step it seems tricky, but it's really not that bad. But we're going to put together the square side of the lantern first. So take your pieces, set them out all like this. And this and this, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Okay, <clears throat> then we're going to put glue on all four ends and then we'll put down a strip of tape and we will tape those ends together and let them dry. This drying process is going to be super important for the final finished part of your project because <clears throat> if they're not dry they're going to fall apart but you have to give them a good amount of time to dry. I took the original ones that I put together and <clears throat> once they were taped I put them together and then I let them dry in a heater for about an hour and they cooked pretty well. They're going to cure, continue to cure, um, but that was enough time for them to at least cure so I could take the tape back off and continue putting it together. So it, the longer you can wait, the better. So just take your wood glue, put it on the four ends, and wood glue is really gonna soak into these cut grainy ends a lot, so, um, Go ahead and be pretty, use quite a good amount right there, okay? So let's put those down. <clears throat> then here's where we're going to tape them together. So take a piece of tape and set it down on your table. And then you will take these pieces, squish them together and you can wipe off any excess glue that you have. Make sure they're all lined up. These being square is pretty important. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna set it right on that tape. Squish it together. Pull these sides tightly in. And Tape them. Okay, so that's gonna hold together nicely. I'm gonna do it again for the bottom. There's that one. And <clears throat> again, like that. Sorry, I must have a bug in my throat. I don't know what's going on. 
Okay, got those four pieces glued together. Now it's gonna stay like this for a little while. If you see drips of glue, just wipe those up, especially in the corners. This is why we chose to paint this project. If you do happen to stain this project and if there is glue showing or exposed, a glue on wood will stop stain from penetrating. So you will see the glue marks. So if you plan on staining these, make sure that all the glue is cleaned up on any outside part of the wood or else it will not stain right there. Um, it will not affect the paint. That's why we chose to have these painted. Um, but just so you know, if you choose to stain these and there's glue on the outside, it will not take stain. Sand it off or brush it off while it's wet and get it off before it's too late, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put together all the other four pieces and get back to you once those are dried. Remember, dry time is super important here. If you take these apart and they fall apart, wasn't long enough, okay? And just go ahead and glue them back together. So we'll do the next one and let them dry. All right, back with our dried pieces. So you just, we'll just um, begin taking off the tape and gently do this. Again, if your pieces come apart, they weren't 
did not get to dry long enough. So glue them back and let them dry longer. If you're lucky enough that you have a nail gun or any um, power tools that you can use, you can make this process a lot easier. But we build these projects so anybody can do them, so we don't rely on you having a nail gun. But that would be a super easy way just to tack a brad nail right into these suckers and they would be done in a couple minutes. So um, if you have that, use that if you want. If not, this is the way we're going to put them together. So go ahead and take those apart. All right, next let's get our side pieces, these little dudes, um, in, oops, that go right here and here in our lanterns. We're going to put them together the exact same way, pretty much um, building the same and using tape. We'll just keep them straight and then we'll put our base on and nail it. Okay. I like how that's fitting. I just wanted to test it. So I'm putting glue on these ends. Setting them there. And before I get too far, I'm going to put down some tape. So I can easily tape those ends up. Okay, get these side pieces right where you want them. <clears throat> Hold the top in place. If it moves, move it back. And put your tape up the side firmly. These being square is pretty important. Oops, my piece fell over. Okay, so there is one finished lantern. I'm going <clears throat> again to let this dry super well before we take it apart or do anything else. But before, um, it's pretty sturdy right now and we know these sides are really well. These new pieces are the only ones that are freshly getting stuck. But if we just pull back the tape so it's a little lower, if you want to continue working on it and let it dry while you're working, um, just pull your tape back so we have a clean surface to work on because we don't want the tape to be nailed underneath. That would be kind of, wouldn't look so well. So just pull that tape back. Oops, I can see I just moved that piece a tiny bit. My tape is back. And now I'm going to take the base tart. Where's our base? There's our base. And glue it to the bottom and nail it. That's going to be um, make it extremely sturdy. If you don't feel like you need to nail it, 
Um, you don't have to nail it, but I'm going to. Me. There's going to be 10 nails in your bag. So you can um, nail this on and it will provide extra strength, but there's also um, a couple extras in case it gets um, bent. If one gets bent and you can't use it. If one bends, try to rebend it back out and use it. So I'm gonna smear this glue around a little bit so it kind of covers more of the wood before I put my base on. Just a little more strength. Here goes my base. And to center this, I just use my fingers. You may measure, um, but I just feel underneath here with my fingers and feel it's the same on that. It's not the same on that. So I'm gonna move it a little bit. And there it's centered. If you want to check it, you can flip it over, check, see how it looks. Looks pretty darn good. Happy with that. And now the nails are only for the four corners and they're going to go in the bottom of these long, tall pieces. So you can kind of eyeball where to put those and just hammer away. Okay, I've got the nails in, my lantern in the bottom. I'm going to remove this tape because I know these side pieces, these tall pieces are secured well. And I just wanna check all the other pieces to make sure they're in place where I like them before the glue sets too hard. See some extra glue I'm gonna wipe off just in case. Okay, this piece is still movable. Moved it just a tiny like that. This place is still movable. I'm just gonna move it a tiny bit, flush it out a little. All right, I'm happy with that lantern. There is one fully finished lantern. So repeat all those steps again for the second lantern. Same exact routine, same exact um, build everything. So All right, now we're on to painting. So I've let this dry pretty well, um, and it is time to take apart and paint. I'm still being very gentle with it. The glue actually won't cure 100% for a couple days, so be gentle with them. And when you move them around, I would not suggest like pulling them up by the sides at all, just because they are fragile for the time being. But once we put our brackets on, the black brackets, those will secure the pieces a lot. So we are ready to paint. Grab your paint brushes and your paint or stain or whatever you choose to do. Again, if you choose to stain this and there is glue exposed, the stain will not take on that glued area. So just keep that in mind when you are staining if you choose to. 
So go ahead and paint all surfaces. Cool thing about paint is if you have a little bit unevenness, you can fill those cracks with paint a little bit. So then you don't even see that uneven part. So go ahead and paint. Okay, lantern number one is painted. I'm going to let that one dry and I'll finish painting the second one. this one dry and we're ready to put the black brackets on with our little screws and little screwdriver. To make this easier I'm going to hot glue this plate on just a little bit so it will stay while we screw it in. Just a little bit of hot glue because you don't want it to squish out the sides. But just place that bracket on there so it holds in place while you put the screws in. See how easy that is? Just to secure it. And then it won't be so hard. Well, that was quite the process. These little screws are not the easiest, I get that. But look at what you've just created. How beautiful is that? Your very own lanterns. And they look stunning with the color, the black. Um, I have to tell you a little bit about these brackets. These are custom designed by me, so you will not find them anywhere. I chose a rose petal design. So you can kind of see that in there, just super classy, clean, not too much. They're just tiny, so they just fit and do the purpose. So one more thing I like to do, I personally like the look of sanded edges. So I'm going to sand all the edges around this and bring out some of the natural wood color. And just like that a little bit. So you can do that with yours if you choose to. If not, enjoy it how it is. And there are our finished lanterns. I still have yet to put these brackets on, but I'll do that and finish this one up in the same. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was difficult. This is probably the most difficult project we have done to date, but look at what you get. I love them. They're so beautiful. Your very own lanterns and you can style them however you would like. Some beautiful cotton sprigs or lamb's ear would look so pretty in these with the, the a candle or something else of your choice. I cannot wait to see how you guys decorate yours and make sure that you share your creations in our VIP Facebook group. Follow the link on the bottom of your directions or in your customer portal on our website and click on follow VIP group there. You can share your creations there, see a bunch of inspiration of how people decorated these, designed them, finished them, whatever you would like there. It's a pretty awesome group to be in, so go ahead and join us. One little tip with the brackets, if you choose not, if you, you can just glue them on instead of have to screw them in if that's much easier for you. So just glue them on and then I would take a black Sharpie marker and fill in those circles and you'd never even know. Just a little tip or a drill. Use a drill if you have a drill. So enjoy and we'll see you next time.
Bye.